year. Uh, it's called Essential Touch, The Courage to Heal. And it's a free and open group. Anybody can participate. And um, we're going to talk a little bit about the qualities of the day according to the almanac, to the moon calendars, to the zodiac signs, how nature embeds us in, in its rhythms and how we can uh, profit, benefit from knowing a little bit about it. Uh, in the old days, everybody knew, and it's been kind of gotten lost. It didn't fit into nine to five days, you know, our days anymore. And so the knowledge uh, went under, but it's just as valid as it was then. And it's kind of very helpful. It can be very helpful. Anyways, and at the end of the at the end of the group, or towards the end of the group, uh, we'll do a little bit of uh, question and answers. Anybody can answer, ask a question and pull a couple of cards and we'll see what's in the vicinity of the energy, what's showing already, what's not showing yet, what, uh, what is the tendency of the question, how can it be helpful to, to get a different perspective on things. And um, that's about all we have time. Um, I would like to... If that's okay with you, I would like to have everybody introduce yourself a little bit. But instead of saying what you're doing, just say your first name and tell us what you're passionate about. Debbie, you're first. I'm Deborah, and I guess my life's been passionate about healing. Um, been a nurse for most of my life. <laughs> and now I and do energy therapy as well, um, healing touch. So, um, yeah, really, of others, not usually myself. <laughs> okay. Um, my name is Mary, and I am just passionate about um, life and living life in relationship with other people. I think that we're created to be in relationship, and... And I think that's that's what gives me the courage to heal and to be my authentic self. What do you do Reiki do? I do Reiki and spiritual direction as well. And, and now I'm starting a new um, mode of healing called Chibam, mm. which I love. Very good. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Debbie. Nothing ever works the way it should here. Okay, so and I'm Isa Kirk. I um uh, I came originally from Germany. I'm not good at doing good with water today. Um we've had campgrounds here with the horses here. We were about to take myself <coughs> into into uh, the healing stuff. My grandmother introduced me to hands-on healing, energy healing at a very early age. And um uh, <coughs> and I got into flower essences and I found out that uh, a lot of people have, don't have a clue that there's a difference between a flower essence and an essential oil and from which level those things are operating off. Not one is better than the other, but they're just approaching an issue from different levels. And uh, then when I was sick, I started making essences here from the Black Hills wildflowers and uh, and immersed myself in the incredible energy out here in the in the hills. Thanks, Linda. I'm Linda and I am passionate about healing as well. Uh, intuitive healing, healing touch, Reiki, 